Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. Oh, I've been scouting out the missions, found a couple that look interesting. I think we're going to jump up and hit ourselves a nice three skull today. Oh, we've got this blackout. Got a nice payout, good salvage, and even with the extra difficulty, a blackout is really a, a good way to step up and get into a little heavier territory because you can really manage the engagement. Is you have, with a blackout, you've got several steps. You're going from your drop down to your first engagement zone and then moving to your second engagement zone. And each time you have an engagement in each zone, it actually diffuses the difficulty level. And it allows you to just kind of take it one step at a time and work into it. Now, there is always the chance that you could get everything dropping on at one time, and then all of a sudden you're fighting something far heavier than you might expect, but you, know, you still have an opportunity. Now, we've got the two different kinds of blackouts where uh, when you get to the end of it, you're either fighting an ambush or... You've got a, a drop lance, and when you get the drop lance, you do get the turrets that help you out. And you also, their goal is to destroy that base, so they're going to focus their first shots on the base itself and not on you. So you kind of have that meat shield going on, which does help you with a little bit, bit of positioning. And since our lance really works on mobility, we're going to be using that. Uh, positioning advantage to uh, the maximum. Oh, let's get in there. Let's get it done. And hopefully we can pick up some good salvage and start building ourselves up into a higher tier of mechs to drop on the battlefield. Uh, we're still rocking that uh, 50 ton range pretty much across the board. And I would love to be able to pick nice heavy mech and just really take it to the next level. We've got the four salvage, so if we do have the opportunity to pick a full mech, we can. And we're definitely going to be looking at that. We also need to think about equipment for the hunchback. As much as I don't want to invest more into the money sink that the hunchback has become, we do still need to invest in it. All right, so we've... This is a weird drop. But we should have no problem getting out of there. Usually, I think usually you end up on the other side. What's... Uh, hmm. I think we might have just gotten a, uh, a tell that we're going to be dealing with a invasion all right I'm walking here. unfortunately we don't have a road to take advantage of here to help our mobility and that is a real problem oh, let's get in here let's trigger this real quick Now let's see what's going on here. All right, and it looks like there is nothing. And this is definitely our target zone here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to use these guys that are lagging behind. And the two Phoenix Hawks are going to jet up top. And these guys are going to take the back road. I am definitely expecting here a drop coming behind. Because we're seeing... Let's see, there's a Calliope there and another one up here. And I do believe that is letting us know that we are going to have friendly turrets. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position these guys so they're in a position to backstab anything because when they drop down to destroy they drop right here on this line and I'm going to be in a position to take them from behind. Now, let's get our guys where we want to be. Here they come. A Valkyrie 2 SRM carrier, a Talos, and a Cicada. All right, let's get in behind them. We now have combat. And 100%, what we want to get into right now is we're going to go SRMs, we're going to go tandem, and we're going to take what we can against that monstrosity. Let's go. Goodbye. One down and three to go. The Valkyrie 2, this is a uh, this is a melee monster. Fortunately missing there. Oof, that was a big hey, hit. All right, here we go against the back of him. No hit there. Fortunately, we have no good hit chances against this guy. Nothing there, nothing there. I think this is the best we're going to get. Is a ping worth it? That's the question. Oh, that's what it is. He's got seven evasion. Let's try it. Oh, well, we were able to knock some evasion off of him. The Cicada, unfortunately, that's a no. We're going to need to do something about this guy. He has massive melee potential. We have no information on what he's rocking, either. And here comes the Cicada trying melee. And that's going to put the Star Slayer on the ground. And a head hit. Oh, here we go again. Let's go with the Vulcans. Got a very good shot against the Cicada here. Not so... Oh, we do well against the Talos. We even do pretty well against the Valkyra. Alright, let's go for it. Nice, we return the head hit favor. Alright, what do we have here? We have LK and we have Inferno. I think LK is where we want to go. No dice. Alright, let's see what we can do next. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pick the Star Slayer off the ground. 
Mm. Melee again. What is with these things in melee? Everything is melee. Oh, okay. All right, let's go for the Talos again, or the Valkyrie again. Nice big hit there with the auto cannon. Unfortunately, he took the head hit, so he is going to be a little bit back in initiative. The Cicada, though, with his hit against the Star Slayer and knocking him down. Okay, I'm glad that he moved. Alright, let's try to get in here and get something done against the Valkyrie. Maybe we can knock... If we can get him unstable, we can knock that evasion off. And give us some good follow-up. Alright, let's go! Ah, nice crit on the engine. This just matter. All right, we've we've got the hit chance we wanted. Everything looks good. I'm gonna sensor lock the Talos as a defensive measure here, and let's go. Do we go tandem? Or LK? I think we go LK here. We need. Let's get the straight damage going on. And we got him. Oof. So the melee monster's off the board. And it's just a matter of what we can do with the Star Slayer. Who's taking a whole lot of damage? Hopefully, the turrets don't hit him. All right, let's move. Let's do a move. And I think we're going to... Oh, we lost an arm. Fortunately, we lost an arm that has nothing in it. Nice, nice. We got one... Uh, one hit there on the autocannon. Alright, let's see if we can put this guy on the ground here. And let's go! Nice, there goes the arm. What can I do for you? And we follow up from the side there. And this should do him. No! We missed the auto cannon, unfortunately, and that's what did it to us. Now, what's the cicada going to get up to now? doing weird stuff. Synapse can get something done here. Alright, there's the torso. There's his leg. There's his engine. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Alright, now we can follow up with the Cicada. Nice little back strike here. 
The guy's got to be a full fanatic freak, otherwise he would have split out of this town 20 minutes ago. All right. Nice. There we go. Yeah, let's go for the whole thing. All right. Good engine crit there. I like to see that. Let's see what the turrets can do to help us out here. Uh, little to nothing. Oh, we're looking at straight... Uh, we need straight uh, damage here. His armor's all open. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Alright, so we managed to pull it through. And fortunately, most of the damage that we took was superficial. In spite of the fact that it seems like everything just wants to go melee these days. It's very weird. All right. You want the three parts of the Valkyrie too. Going to give seven ten-ton maces. Um, no, we're going to refuse that. I want I want that sixty-tonner. There's the Ultra 5 DNI cockpit, Core 180. He Ooh, stacks of heavy jump jets. We have four. 10 ton mace, we don't have any. Virtual reality piloting pod, we need to take this. 100% we need to take this. Those are really rare, and we absolutely need to take it. So we got two SRM-6s, the Ultra-5, double-second jump jets, bunch of useless stuff, and actually a double AC-10 bin. I like to see that. Gives us a nice uh, little extra ammo there for the AC-10 that we're rocking on the Hunchback. All in all, not bad. Nice quick mission. We can get everything fixed up, going again, and we can drop into another one. I think there was a nice two and a half skull battle that we can jump into. All right. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, let's get... All right. Whisper and Showboat. Um... Alright, let's take Showboat aside. Uh, Showboat is dishonest. Alright, that doesn't help. Alright, we still need three more days to get the Star Slayer fixed and oddball is way out of action all right let's go to the mech bay all right we did lose a jump jet which not a big deal we can always slap another one on there repair everything hello jump jet jumpy 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 there you go. Have a nice day. Just want to. Oh, hello. Um, let's take this instead. Uh, let's take this instead, which gives us another two and a half tons. Do we have any more ultra ammo? Now we have ultra ten ammo. Uh, Ultra 10 ammo, uh, we have one bin, which only gives us eight shots. It's not enough. We don't need any more ammo here. We can't add any more weapons. We can't add any more jump jets either. Armor is actually good. 
what's our heat efficiency here? It's not bad. Um, do we have... We can upgrade from the Guardian to Angel. We actually add a Beagle Probe on here. And let's max out the armor. Alright, so we're going to do that. And then we will drop that. That looks good. Actually, we're going to do this. We're going to buff up the center torso. And we'll keep it to 115 on the legs. That should be good. And max a little bit better. Very nice. Uh, what about cockpit items? Oh, we get tactics here. Ah, I like the rangefinder here. Extra sight plus gunnery. That's good. We got gunnery support B. We could also do the cockpit interface. But it's two slots, so we wouldn't be able to run the head-mounted medium laser. All right. Uh, what about... I'm pretty sure we don't have good cores. No, we don't have good cores. So that's good. Let's get that going. And the Hunchback. The Hunchback. Recon sensors. Now... I want to get the, where was it, Gyro XL, uh, right, XL Gyro in, I wanted, I didn't want to take out, oh, there it is, okay, I didn't, wasn't looking to take that jump jet out, and now we can get, where's the virtual reality piloting pod? which gives us extra evasion, extra initiative, helps with all of this neat good stuff. And then we still have plenty of tonnage. We've got a ton and a half here which allows us to actually put ECM on the Mac. Um, what's counting is... Oh, we have the Guardian Plus here. Uh, Beagle Probe is one and a half tons. Now we got a Beagle. There we go. We are looking good here. And I do believe... We can go with, let's go with the Gunnery Support B. Let's help out with that. And we are good to go. Looks good. All right. And let's get those guys going. And we will get ourselves into a new mission before we go bankrupt. All right, so we've got, we're going to go with two here. We're going to go two of nine, and we're going to get the extra money. And we need ourselves a, another, need ourselves another Timmy. Looks like it's going to be Yukiona on the Star Slayer. All right, let's a go. We'll get ourselves a nice two skull battle here. And we'll see if we can't pick up something nice to have. Oh, maybe we get lucky. There's another Valkyrie 2 part. Uh -huh. Get ourselves a 60 tonner. I mean, it's a slight upgrade, but it would be an upgrade. And it does give us some more options. But I would really like to get into a higher tier heavy mech more than anything else at this point. 
but we'll have to see what's on offer. You know, working for the pirates this time. Yeah, but whatever. Whoever's paying, that's who we work for, right? That's the life of a merc. All right, let's get in and get it done. I expect to see two lances here. We're going to see our initial uh, target, and then we're going to get reinforcements coming down. All right, it looks like all we get here is high ground. So let's take it. And do we see them? Yes, we do. Right off the bat. A Phoenix, Thunderbolt, and something unknown. And I do believe that these are reinforcements up here. That's a Hunchback. And possibly a Talos as well. Everything's stealthed out. And we definitely see evasion on everything. So let's reserve it. We're going to let them move first. Let them get out of their spawn protection. And we will move on with life. So we'll get the guys in the low ground first. Phoenix is turn 13. We're turn 14 with this guy. Okay. Let's keep waiting. Right Could definitely move the land mechs in, but I don't want to bring them in unsupported. So? Alright, turn 17. That's high ground. Oh, no. It's... we got a sand devil over here. I think we're going to go down to turn 10. Because I want to hit this guy with the Vulcans. So he needs to come closer. Turn 14 is Mr. Unknown. Turn 13 is the Phoenix. Now, turn 12... Alright, obviously we're not getting a good shot here. Swordsman. Alright, let's go for the Thunderbolt here. And let's go for a sensor lock. Oh no, turn turn one. Can't send a sensor lock. Derp. All right, Yukiona. Double time. Let's go. Got a decent shot here. Better shot here. And I like Swarm here. Unfortunately, missing both auto cannon shots. Ah, uh, good. Sand Devil moving closer. Lamb mode, please. Let's get nice and close to the Sand Devil. Welcome to my Not quite enough to pop him. But definitely a good shot here. Uh, I don't think we need to go active. I don't think we want to expose ourselves too much. Uh, we're definitely shooting the Thunderbolt here. I hear you. And Hunchy. Alright, DNI on. 
And that gets us a good amount of evasion there. And we go for the hun Hunchback. I like to try Incendiary here. We can get the hit. The Incendiary does seem to do good amounts of uh, heat damage. Uziel. Powered Uziel. Thunderbolt 1C. Might be a Prim. He's definitely rocking hot. There's another S7 Hunchback. It looks like we've got five on the ground. Oh no. At least six. Oh, there was a hit. I see you, buddy. As we have the Uziel, the S7, and a Scarecrow? I await your command. And that was not what I wanted to see. All right, we're going to get into the back of the Thunderbolt here. Unfortunately, the racks are down. Standing by. Engaging jump jets. All right, let's go. Now, without the racks, we really have trouble following up on the Sand Devil and taking advantage of our through armor Anybody? capabilities. We have no hit chance there. This is actually pretty good. The Thunderbolts is definitely LRMs. Let's go for it. Keep focused on the one target. Alright. What I want to do is I want to keep moving over to this left side to focus on our primary target. And moving away from the reinforcements so that we don't get overwhelmed. I think we're going to go Inferno here. It looks like the Hunchback cannot take the, um, the heat. And if we can take him, for the most part, out of this fight, that will help us quite a bit. Alright, we're, um... We're just having a grand old time with the, uh, with the jams here. All right, stress is good on him. Here we go. Still not so good with the hit chance, but we do get it. Very nice. He's panicked. Can we get him to punch? Be nice to pick up a thunderbolt. And who shut down? Looks like it was the Uziel. Wait, 
We only get four here, which I'm not a big fan of. Alright, well, there goes the torso and half of his weapons. And a pilot injury. Always good to see that. But unfortunately, I believe that will block us from getting a full mech on the table. I'm here. Alright, which side do we want? We want the front or the right side? That's your front. That's your right side. Uh, X pulses off the board. LRM off the board. We can throw one X pulse in here. Ooh, spread the damage around a little bit too much. All right, Thunderbolt, what are you up to? Absolutely nothing. Very good. I was the scarecrow that. Uh, It was the scarecrow that shut down. Alright, let's get up here. Confirmed. And I like the swarm here. There's a legging, he's on the ground, gonna be an extra um, pilot injury. And he's panicked, so we. Possibly get the punch. Possibly not. I think we're not going to get the best equipment out of that. And I'm less concerned about being able to get him to punch than about some of the other mechs where we might be able to get a bigger engine core. Which is definitely something that we need to be looking out for. Definitely want to get some more mobility going on. Yes, come in. All right. All right, all right, all right. Phoenix. Let's go damage here in the back. Oh, beauty. Goodbye. Unfortunately, that's only a 240. I love this move for four here. All right, let's see what we get. Nice. Nice chunk of heat there. Did very well. All right. Uh, Please to be giving me tandem ammo. Goodbye. All right, you're done. For All right, Yukiana. This is a super good hit chance here. Let's take it. Oh, beauty. Nice. Lucky crit there. Knocked him down. I definitely want to keep moving away from these guys because um, I don't want to tempt them into melee range. I'm ready. All right, Thunderbolt. All right, I'm gonna go with the X pulses, but we're gonna save money, uh, money, ammo on Starting the Vulcans down. here. Unfortunately, we didn't get the head hit there, which would have been far more optimal. This guy with his uh, crazy PPC shotguns. I 
will be done. All right, let's get the six here. Well, this is going to be toasty. Target lock on enemy six. All right, critical panic. What can I do for you? Got it. Max speed. Let's see what we can do about how you feel about life. We'll go standard here for the damage. There we go. You're done. And we hit one of our friends. Going full throttle. We have no SRM here. We are going to sensor lock this, though. I've got a sensor lock. Oh, that's much better. We're going to chaff this guy. Good, 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 good. I know they're on the high ground. So I'm thinking about actually Getting in like this. Let's go for some Inferno here. Because he's running stealth here. Alright, we're close enough to break the line of sight. So it's only indirect fire from the high ground. Very good. So he stood still. There's the rack. Let's get it in here. Heat says chill out. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, AMS does absolutely nothing there, which we don't actually mind. And we're going to go incendiary here. And we're going to miss completely. Okie dokie, Smokey. Turn 19. No, turn 18. Ouch. Let's try to cut a little closer to the cliffs there and break that line of sight. That guy's super hot. Pirate Snubs, that's the... Yeah, this is really good, and he is really hot. So let's try to push that a little over the edge. Nice engine crit, too. I like that. And that bad boy does not have a whole lot of anything going on behind him. Can we get... This we can get laser AMS. 
improved AC twenty CE. Um, I think I want that. Beauty Scarecrow shut down. Move like this. We have a great hit chance here. Machine gun array, ER flamers, all the clan. All the clan tech. Let's do it. No head hit though. Hunchback. All right, Ube. This guy just, his heat just does n absolutely nothing. I think we go straight damage here. Oh, good, 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 good. There goes the arm. There goes the melee stuff. Let's bring SRMs back in action here and the lasers. I know we're building up a whole lot of heat. Uh, I like tandem here. Nice. Oh, we destroyed the exchanger double plus. That's unfortunate, but his butt is going to be on the ground. And it's going to be on the ground soon. Big hit against the Treb there. Uh, Yukiana. Yukiana. Alright. Let's go. Well, put him on the ground more than one way. There's two injuries for you. And he's panicked. Will he punch out? Survey says. Yes! All right. One customer down. And we've got three up on the high ground. I'm showing minor damage. We've got the Scarecrow. Ready for order. Some kind of Raven-esque type thing. Hmm. All right, let's go for the side torso. All in. There goes the engine. Goodbye. And what can we bring to the table down here? This is good. This is also... Eh, this is not as good. This is really good. So we're going for the back of the Uziel here. Alright. Get in there, my friend. That's good. That's horrible. I'm thinking about the ping here. And it's not going to have much of an effect because the raptor is going to get a chance to move. That's some damage right there. All right, synapse. You, my friend, go for Uziel. And we 
we're inside the minimum range on the Vulcan, so we're going to hold off. I'm your spaniel. All right, we're just going to move here, turn around, back up, go vigilance. I'm going to sensor lock on the Raptor 2 here. Now I'm doing this for the reason, not that I'm going after him, because I am going to go after the UZL here, but this is for next turn, in the hopes that I can get something done against him as far as follow-up. Alright, this gets us up into a good range here. Oh, this is beautiful. Nice. There goes an arm. He's on the ground. Love it. Little splash damage on the raptor as well. Now this gives us a... Oh, this is just... This is too good not to do it. Now we're going to get much done against the Uziel. But the op opportunity to get that kind of hit against the Raptor, definitely worth having. Alright, Varengian. Unfortunately, there is nada here. No shooting, just running. Not much hit chance either way. Let's be done. Waiting for orders. And that's definitely something we wanted to see. Commencing alpha strike. That wasn't what we wanted to see, though. Alright, let's get up. Ooh, we're going to need to yep. mind our... We're going to need to mind our uh, stability on the Hunchback right now. There goes the Raptor. No X-Pulse here. But just one. One does it. There goes a leg. Oh. There goes the acid ammo. And there goes the mech. Beautiful. Very nice. Alright, let's see what we have on the battlefield as far as salvage goes. Thunderbolt's a nice 65 ton mech. Gives us a lot of options. Of course, we are looking at battle mech. So, we're going to be suffering through... Our usual slings and arrows of... Um, yes, actually, we'll take this because I'm not picking the Raptor 2. And Clan Endo is very nice to have. Alright, so Scarecrow is a 40-tonner. Mix of Clan and Inner Sphere target designed to kill infantry. Okay. B pods, flamers, clan. Okay, let's take a look. Improve. Let's see. Clan enhanced auto cannon. Early clan ballistic weapons benefit from metallurgy. Yada yada yada. Fires burst small caliber of clan engineers managed to enable firing rapid fire two. All right. We recoil of three. Rapid fire fires twice with twenty percent chance to jam. Is twenty times five. All right, it's a burst of five sub-projectiles clustered towards the same location. It's interesting. Uh, what's the weight on this guy? So it's 13 tons. Pirate snub, those are always nice. 
They are 12 Battlefist Mark II, Chameleon, Compact, three Compact Heat Sink Kits. There's a Clan Endo, Light Engine, Defensive Gyro. We could really use one of these. Heat Bank, not that interesting. Lower Melee Punch. Hmm. The Signature Damper. Mask. Would be nice. There's a lot of would be nice here. Nothing that I think the uh, the defensive gyro. How much clan endo do we have? We have none. We'll take a clan endo. So we'll take a clan endo and the defensive gyro, and we're going to call it a day. We also get a part of the hunchback, a part of the thunderbolt, combat heat sink, garbage, double heat sink. That's nice. A little bit of garbage and. couple of okay things but the big thing is we got the money that we needed in order to get ourselves over the financial report and we're going to be in good shape but i hope everyone enjoyed it if you did don't forget the three s's smash it share it and sub it smash that like button share it with your friends subscribe for more and we'll see you in the next one have a great day everybody